me to took several years to produce a new. But your artificial intelligence will be able to detect new flavors in the split. This is a good things being added. It's again one of those challenges that has particular meaning. I think at a point. Monday on NBC. Stick around later for Jimmy Fallon as Mark Ruffalo drops by tonight. The plan to move this historic home in Reno proves to be a bit challenging tonight. Disappointed neighbors weigh in on the move that didn't happen after all. The collusion. Del we'll look at when we're finally going to be clear. This is News 4 at 11 on your side. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Joe Hart. And I'm Melissa Matheny. Well, topping our news tonight, a plan to move a historic home across town got bogged down in a hurry today when experts realized the house was simply too heavy. That's right. News Force Kristen Edwards is live in downtown Reno to tell us why the move is for now on hold. Kristen? Joel, Melissa, I talked to the homeowner today who says if this house at a standstill, it's a sight you don't typically see. A house off its foundation rolling through city streets. Sandra O oh hosted the show with musical guest Tame Impala. Tracy Morgan's. Imagine a good morning spent with friends. Good morning, America. This is Colo 8 News Now at 11. Covering the news that matters to you. And search for the missing 17-year-old who may have vanished in the Silver Lake area. That's for a single mother working to make ends meet. Well, springtime often means allergy time. Good evening, I'm Noah Bond. And I'm Tabby Dozier. Warmer temperatures may feel great, but local doctors say be prepared. Allergy season is upon us. Colaway News Now's Gianna Giorgi spoke to a local allergist and had some great tips for us. Gianna. Good evening, Nola and Tabney. If your eyes are itchy and you have a scratchy throat, you're not alone. Doctors tell me peak allergy season is here and will only get worse into the fall. High 60s are in the weekend forecast. I've been waiting for this day for the past two months. <laughs> out of nowhere, it's been rock yeah. steady, and we're down to two. You don't spend too much time out here in the country, do you? Well, long enough. She's lying. You killed my son. I mean, he's the one. KTV Arena. You're watching Two News at 11. Oh, well, the weather is not quite finished yet as another round of snow falls in the higher elevations. How this could impact travelers this week straight ahead. But first, trying to stop cars. The latest tops Two News at 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mariana Bennett. I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for joining us at 11. And tonight we are learning more about a shooting that left two dead and two others injured in Seattle. And police believe that it was a random act. Officials say that the suspect first shot and wounded a woman while trying to carjack her vehicle. Look at our uh, uh, Reno Nextrad radar. There's kind of a higher resolution band here. You can see a couple of light showers still drifting through the south. But most of it is beginning to move on down to the south. Now, the Carson City area continues to get some rain here, and it is still warm enough to be rain. But I think as skies clear off somewhat tonight, we're going to see a lot less activity. Now, the mountains are still providing enough lift to get a little bit of snow. But even up on top of Mount Rose, while it looks like the snow is uh, falling reasonably heavily there, it's actually mostly day. We'll tell you more about that, and we'll give a peek ahead to the weekend as well. I'll have that for you in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks, Mike. And the storm is making for some wet conditions on the roads. This 11 o'clock hour, Jefferson Tyler is live at Rob Drive with a closer look. Jefferson. Uh, yeah, here over at Rob Drive, it's gotten cold and the winds are still blowing strong. When you see this symbol, you know you're watching a show that's educational and informational. The CBS Dream Team. 
know what? You're gonna end up just like Victor Horst if you keep hanging out with Damon Cross. So why don't you cooperate so that we can protect this? Except Besides, I know you'll like this one. It's something you... after the boy found it underneath a bed and accidentally shot himself in the head. Right now, the um, child is in critical condition. This is an ongoing investigation. We have our investigators... and boiled potatoes, that's another direction. There's an endless repertoire that you can make with Strimby. He eats yogurt with the wrong end of the spoon. He's messed up every case he's ever been on. Unless he was only pretending not to. Keep it 9, 8 central, only on PBS. Support for programming on KNPB is provided in part by a grant from the Robert Z. Hawkins Foundation. Tonight on KNPB. Secrets of the Dead. Tonight at 10 on KNPB. NCET's 20th anniversary of people and companies of Northern Nevada's technology community. Special gift and is held at the Sierra View Library. Please call the Community Foundation of Western Nevada at... On KNPB is provided in part by the Nell J. Redfield Foundation. The Redfield Foundation. All this and more this season. You're watching KNPB, Reno, connecting our community. When doing things like planting trees, digging holes before you dig, NV Energy, a proud supporter of KNPB, reminds you... Single off the wall in the sixth, 46. But don't worry, they won't take offense. Here goes Pitt to your everyday life. 